First, I want to congratulate all our new signees. Uh, we're very excited and proud here at Texas State of our recruiting class. I think this is going to be one of the most exciting recruiting classes we've had here in my tenure here at Texas State, and it certainly helps us with the momentum that we've created here over the last couple years. And as a staff, we sat down and tried to figure out what needs we needed to address uh, going forward. Left-handed pitching is probably something that we needed to address and we did in this class, uh, as well as frontline pitching. Add that with the kids, uh, the athletic kids that we have um, from a hitting perspective, and I think that we answered and um, kept the momentum going in, in recruiting. Well, it's exciting to see they all have played at a really high level. So as a coach, when you go out to, to evaluate somebody, you want to see them in the biggest moment because that's when they're supposed to be at their best. That's when the great players play the, uh, their best game. And all these guys um, athletically have performed at a, a very high level. Coach Peacock and myself and Coach Arrington, we, we travel a lot and watch a lot of baseball. And all these kids stood out uh, for specific things they could do on the offensive side of it. And when you look at, from an offensive standpoint, what we're trying to do here at Texas State, you want to have the opportunity to be dynamic. And that means winning the two to one games, the one to nothing games, but also the 15 to 14s, because sometimes you have to slug it on a Sunday afternoon uh, with, with a south wind. And so, you know, for our guys, we, we feel like they, they address all those needs from an offensive standpoint. Um, they can run. We have some power in this class. And then also from a defensive standpoint with the athleticism and competitiveness of, of each kid. Each one of these individuals are incredible young people. They're going to make great impacts athletically on our field, but also as people in our communities and, and certainly here uh, at Texas State. Robert Dickey, right-handed pitcher, Blinn Junior College. Robert's a 6'4", power arm, physical build. Uh, fastball ranges anywhere from 93 to 96. He's what you want uh, a pitcher to, to look like, and he's a bulldog on the mound. Justin Farrar, Ridge Point High School, South Texas Slider Select Team. Uh, he's a left-handed pitcher. Uh, he's touched 90 miles an hour. He's a two-way guy. It's going to factor in a little bit in the outfield for us as well. Um, played football in high school. Um, Big-time competitor. Really athletic. We're excited about getting him. Jalen Hubbard from Dulles High School. He's played summer baseball with the Columbia Angels. Uh, he's a big bat with a, a really advanced approach. Uh, Jalen really understands the offensive de and defensive part of the game. Uh, probably a lot of help from, from his dad, who's former major leaguer Trinidad Hubbard. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Bryson Mitchell, Alvin Junior College, Coronado High School. Bryson's a submarine pitcher. Uh, we're excited about Bryson's ability to throw strikes from that arm angle. He is going to induce a lot of ground ball outs for us. Montana Parsons, College Park High School, Houston Heat. Monty's a 6'3 right-handed pitcher. Um, has the ability to throw uh, really hard one day. He's a 90 mile an hour arm right now. Um, fierce, fierce competitor. He's creative on the mound, which is something uh, that grabbed our attention. And uh, he's gonna be fun to watch develop. Dylan Paul, Katie Taylor, high school. He played his summer baseball with Kyle Chapman. Uh, Dylan's a, a multi-dimensional player from the standpoint of at the collegiate level, he has the ability to probably play every position on the field. He's a super athletic kid. I was a high school running back this year, and uh, we're really excited about his athleticism and, and how physical he is, and, and offensively and defensively, he should be able to help out. Braden Pearson, Georgetown High School, Austin Wings. Braden's a left-handed pitcher, uh, real good feel for three pitches uh, in the strike zone, very competitive kid, won a lot of games at an early age um, for both his select team and his high school. Braden's work that he's going to put in in the weight room is uh, going to really pay off for him, and we're excited about uh, the quality arm that he is. Mickey Scott from San Angelo Central, played a summer baseball with the Austin Wings. Mickey's a very athletic kid. A high school quarterback, great leadership qualities. I think the sky's the limit when he's uh, focused on baseball full time. Luke Shirley, the Woodlands High School. He played summer baseball at the Houston Heat. He looks a, a winner. I think he's got good leadership qualities. He makes every player on the field uh, better. And he, he had the opportunity to compete at a really high level last year with the Woodlands and, and be part of a state championship team. Grayson Williams, Hyde Park High School. Also played the Austin Wings. Really instinctive player, super competitive. He's a proven winner and he seemed to excel through his prep career in really big moments. Ryan Williams, Victoria East left-handed pitcher, played summer league with the Houston Heat. He's a physical, uh, athletic left-handed pitcher. We're excited about his future. He's got a high upside. 
I think as you can hear the excitement from our coaches when they're describing each one of uh, our new signees, um, each of them characteristically uh, are athletic. Um, each of them are, are, are very competitive. Um, all of them have played uh, at a championship level, on a high level, at a high school and a summer league. Uh, and I think that excites me the most because when you're trying to do great things, um, a lot of the, it, it, it often helps to have a guy uh, or a group of people that uh, have been in those moments before. We're very excited. We're looking forward to the future.